I wake up and listen to music, I went to sleep and listen to music, I would brush my teeth and listen to music, I would shower and listen to music. There's nothing that I wouldn't do where music wasn't part of it. Mama. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ninja Mommy. Here are my five reasons for why I stopped listening to music. Reason number one and the most important reason is because I follow the opinion that music is impermissible in Islam. But before you come at me, I know there are differences of opinion regarding music in Islam, but majority of the scholars say that it is impermissible to listen to instrumental music. So that was one of my biggest, biggest reasons for giving it up. For me, it's deen over dunya, guys. This dunya is not that important. Dunya means world. This dunya is not that important for me. I want to prioritize my religion over anything else. And yes, some might say that I'm obsessed with my religion. I am obsessed with it. I love it and I love practicing it. And I want to improve myself and better myself constantly every single day. So that was one of my main, main, main reason for giving it up. And I'm happy. I am so happy. And I love it, guys. I'm not sad. I know some of you mentioned that in my TikTok video when I posted the reasons. Trust me, I am not sad. I am really, really, really happy, as you can tell. Was it hard to give up? Absolutely. It was one of the hardest things I had to give up because I was addicted to music, guys. Addicted. Which brings me to my reason number Two, I was addicted to music and it became an obsession for me, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to give it up because it was taking me away from my religion. It was taking me away from my salahs, my prayers. It was taking me away from the Quran, which I love listening to. And it was just taking me away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that, in that moment when I realized that the power it had over me, I was like, nope, that's it. Gotta give it up. And that goes for everything in my life, whether it's music, um, TikTok, YouTube, whatever. Like currently my hobbies are TikToking and YouTubing and reading. So if reading became an obsession to me to the point where it takes me away from God, I'm going to stop reading. Anything, anything in this world that takes me away from the remembrance of Allah, from the dhikr of Allah, I am going to give it up. Because my life priorities are set. For me, God is the goal and paradise is the goal so i live for the hereafter which may sound extreme to some of you guys but that's okay this is my life and i can decide how i want to live it and this is how i choose so anything that will become an obsession for me i am willing to give it up and obsessions and addictions are not healthy guys if it becomes an obsession where you can't even live a normal life where you can't function normally you should give it up you shouldn't let anything control you and music was controlling me i wake up and listen to music i went to sleep and listen to music i would brush my teeth and listen to music i would shower and listen to music there's nothing that i wouldn't do where music wasn't part of it and that's when i slowly started realizing that yo this is getting too much and that's when I was like, gotta give it up. And reason number three, it stopped bringing me joy and happiness. I like to live a very optimistic and a happy life. Anything that brings me sadness, I don't want to indulge in that. I know sadness is normal and it should be part of everyone's life and it certainly is part of my life. Time to time sadness is okay, you know, but like constantly being sad, um, I was clinically depressed as well, so yes, I will say that music contributed to that definitely, most definitely, it contributed to my depression as well. I know for some of you out there, it couldn't take you out of depression, but it put me into depression, and that was not okay for me. It stopped bringing me joy, guys. It stopped making me happy. I used to love listening to it, but all of a sudden, it just became noise in my ears. I wasn't enjoying it anymore. And my heart just felt unease. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that through the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will the hearts find ease. And that is so true, like so true. When I would listen to the Quran instead of the music, I honestly felt so much peace and so much ease in my heart. Even today when I'm listening to the Quran or listening to something that reminds me of Allah, oh my goodness, I can't explain the joy I get. I can't explain the happiness I feel. I don't know if you can tell through my eyes, but it brings me so much joy listening to the Quran. So 
what music does for certain people, what music used to do for me, Quran does that for me now, guys. I used to love getting lost into the Quran and just listening to it and pondering upon the words of Allah. And at one point, I was also learning word to word Quran. So I was understanding and learning the meanings of the Quran. And when I would listen to it and I would understand certain words, oh my goodness, it would bring me so much happiness. Because I was learning a new language and I was remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there's nothing better than that. God himself said that, that you know, in the remembrance of God, you will find ease, you will find peace, you will find joy, you will find happiness. And I found all of that in Quran. Reason number four, it became a waste of time for me. I'm not saying that music is a waste of time for everybody. <laughs> Many of you misunderstood me in my TikTok video as well. It was just, it just started becoming a waste of time for me, guys. Remember I told you that I was obsessed with it? I was obsessed with it to the point where I would wait until the new song came out from my favorite artist. I would sit there and download all of them and then transfer them over to my CDs. I know we have the iPods and stuff too, but like... I'm talking about back in the day, not that long ago, but still, I would transfer all my files to like all the songs to my CDs and then have this bulk of like CDs. <laughs> and then I had like CD player too, but after that, obviously, I transferred it to my iPhone. So I was just constantly, constantly like obsessed with okay, when is the new song coming out? On top of that, I would watch music videos and I was like so happy, like okay, watching music videos, commenting. So Instead of focusing on my real priorities in life, I just kind of like focused on these things, which to me was a huge waste of time, guys. I feel, I feel like I could do something better. I could listen to something educational. Not saying that music is not educational, but for me, music is not educational. I feel like I could listen to more educational stuff like podcasts or Islamic lectures. Again, going back to my purpose in life and remembering God. And my last reason, reason number five. So music and music videos go hand in hand, guys. So when I was listening to music, I also wanted to watch the music videos. And we all know, especially today, that the music videos are extremely filthy, full of nudity, full of sex, alcohol, clubbing, um, objectifying women in so many ways. And just, it was horrible, guys. So me, I was consuming all of that with my eyes. So not only was I listening to something, but I was also consuming filthy stuff. And it really messed with my mind, guys. Again, not saying that it's gonna mess with your mind or anyone else's mind. I'm talking about me personally, just me and my experience. It was adding so much filth to my mind. And it just like encouraged and increased my tendencies to do more haram things, more forbidden things in my religion. So, and it normalized a lot of things in my mind as well. And I'm not saying that I was purposely watching these filthy videos or purposely watching um, music videos or listening to songs that were filthy. No, the songs were perfectly fine. They did not have any profanity in it. They did not have any bad words or any um, filth in the lyrics. But when I would watch these music videos, even innocent lyrics just had these disgusting images in the music video. So because sex sells, guys, it's really easy for people to just put that in everything. And I mean everything. So I used to listen to a lot of rock, a lot of hip hop and Bollywood. I was obsessed with Bollywood music as well. I realized when I was listening to rock, I just became more aggressive when I was driving because I was so pumped up and I was just like, yes, in the end, it doesn't even matter. Like, just keep going and just, I was like, what's going on? I would just get so hyped up in my world that I was driving like a crazy reckless person. And I know some of you will say that why not listen to calming music instead, but like, I wasn't into comic music. I was into the certain type of music that just had a certain type of effect on me. So. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Those are my five reasons for why I quit listening to music. Okay, so now for some counter arguments. I know there are a lot of scientific benefits to listening to music. Me personally, I don't find it beneficial. So if you find it beneficial, that's all on you. For me personally, even if there are a million scientific reasons for why you should listen to music, I still won't because 
I just don't get it and it's just not for me. So everyone has a different taste and different preference and these are my preferences. If you guys want to know how I stopped listening to music, just comment below and I'll make a video about it next week for you guys. Alright guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, just like the left here. Miela Simone got rewarded tremendously for it. And you will find in all of my videos that there is no music in it. So if you hear a song, it's either a cappella or it's without any instrumental music. I release new videos every Thursday, so don't forget to come back next week. And I'm also on all of these social media platforms, so let's get connected. And until next time, guys, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Peace. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh. Yo.